um, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers out there pushing the work in sincerity and truth. Um, shit, we just kicking it. Uh, we wanted to do a video, and uh, we was just going into, you know, we ain't got, there's no other hope in the society, but, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because uh, these people in this world are, are belligerently uh, wicked and blinded that, uh, they're soaked, they're soaked in misery and death and all types of wickedness. Come on, come on. Come on. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 6. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, the hurt, yeah, uh, wickedness had, like, there's so much wickedness out here. There's, you can't walk anywhere without, like, uh, some type of demonic symbols being seen. Or you know witchcraft being taken, taken, being taken in place, like uh, like you know these you know we have we you know we drink this this uh we try to drink some good water, but like uh th come to find out these waters have demonic symbols on it, you know you go in a grocery store, like all the groceries or like a convenience like mainly convenience stores there's nothing good in the convenience store besides you know water and who knows how deadly that is for us you know. Verse seven it says. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Right, and then the, the Lord's tongue is the the prophets of his um his, his as his prophets, the men of the Lord, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. And the souls of the just complain continually. Yeah, we complain continually, man. You know, sometimes we just be catching so much hell. You just, man, you just, just like, man, just want to just get, you know, we get angry and just want to, like, just break something. But we have, you know, we pray to Yahweh Hashem Shai that we could contain our spirits and endure to the end. Verse 9. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me. All the innocent blood from among them. Let me get, let me get, you can break it down and get something real fast. Gone. The Lord is not going to let the elect suffer in this state. You know, the, the men that are, that are thirsting after righteousness. All right, the Lord is going to deliver them. And he's going to avenge, avenge their enemies. I mean, he's going to kill the wicked, remove them out of rulership. Because it's gone. I was going to say because the fruit of their reign is nothing but death and misery. So the Lord is going to get rid of the wicked and deliver the righteous. I got one real fast. All right. I'll pull uh, it up right here. Oh, con, con. Oh, James 1 and uh, 12. This is James chapter 1, verse 12. It says, Blessed is the man that endure temptation for when he is tried he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him right so we're, we're looking to endure temptation till the end so we can see, receive that crown of life you know cause that's what we're all striving for is to just finish this race you know keep going oh yeah well yeah there's more bro yeah. verse 13 it says let no man say when he is tempted I am tempted of the Most High, for the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. Come on. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin when it is finished, it bringeth forth death. Come on. You know? The fruit of sin, when it's fully um, grown, is death. All right. Yeah. Well, when you lust, that lust is that desire. That desire. When you and it says, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. So, like, let me read it one more time. But every man is tempted 
when he is drawn of his own lust and enticed. So yeah, you amen, when you when you're drawn, when you're drawn, when you're tempted, you know, oh it says away of his own lust. So it's all you know, it's it's basically you know, you gotta keep that single eye for your how about Shimia was shy, you know, not being distracted in this world. Cause it says then let's have uh, convinced Salakia, yep. You know, then when lust have conceived it bringeth forth sin and sin when it it is uh, finished bringeth forth death so once once you des decide to lose your focus that eventually you start to st step out of boundary which is uh transgression of the law which is sin uh, i'm gonna get that keep your eyes single it's the book of Matthew, chapter 6. Alright. Verse. Uh, let's start verse 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal, right? You know, lay, meaning, you know, do the work, fast, pray, constantly be uh, meditating on ways to please the Lord rather than ways to please your own flesh, please your own belly, okay? Because if you please the Lord, your reward is going to be the kingdom of heaven, which never perishes, all right? But if you try to fulfill the lust of your flesh right now, you receive your consolation, all right, and the Lord said, The fashion of this world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the heavenly Father abideth forever. All right. Verse 21, it says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. All right. That, that eye is talking about your, your, your mind. All right. If your mind be focus on the kingdom of heaven all right your, your whole body is gonna be full of light you're gonna be full of this this wisdom this knowledge this understanding all right it says but if thine eye be evil thy whole body shall be full of darkness all right if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness how great is that darkness all right so if you're th always thinking about all right uh how can i please my wife and you know my job and the things of this world all the time you're going to fall out. You're going to lose the light, which is this truth, which is this knowledge. So keep your, keep your eyes single, always focusing on the Lord. You got a precept? Um, med meditate uh, day and night. Come, I got that. This is uh, the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse... Eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Huh. Damn. That's self-explanatory. It's all about the aim. It's all about how about Shem Yahushai meditating on his spirit, his spirit, his words. You know. And then once you, once you, well, the scriptures talk about seeking you the kingdom, then everything will be added unto you, you know? That's, that's in Matthew 6. Get that again real quick. This is Matthew chapter 6. All right. In verse. Uh. Slot. Matthew 6 and verse. I'm going to start. Go ahead. I'm going to start. Uh, it's, the point is 33, but I'm going to start at verse 30. It's Matthew 6 and 30. Uh, it's a lot. Matthew 6 and 28. And why ye take thought for raiment, consider the lilies of the field, 
how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. All right, so why are you thinking about the clothes that you, you that you gotta wear? You know, the 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 flowers of the earth, they grow perfectly and they don't entangle amongst themselves. It's not their doing; it's of the Lord's doing. Because at the end of the day, whether you eat, drink, breathe, have clothes on your back, it's of the Lord. Verse twenty nine, and yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore. If the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, mm. O ye little faith? Damn. Wow. It goes to show you, because there's a scripture where it talks about the birds being fed, you know, and things to that nature. I know I know specifically the birds being fed, but he was talking about the, the, the grass being clothed. You know, so how much more us? Because we're the apples of the Most High's eye. You know. So, verse thirty-one. Therefore, take no thought, saying, "What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed?" For all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that you, that ye have need of all these things. You know, it's everything's all spiritual because that's you know. Evidently, this is, you know, it's talking about doubt, not having a doubt in your mind. And what I was just thinking about is a lot of Jakes out there just doubt. You know, they doubt that we are, we're unable to get spiritual powers. Where do, where do you think these people get these Dragon Ball Z um, cartoons from, these X-Men cartoons, these all these goddamn things where people have super supernatural strength? You know, they get it from... You know, the, the spirit of the Lord, you know, you know, spiritual powers, you know. God, God. Yeah, Jake, just like it. Jake don't believe that we can get that. You know, that's why they don't, they can't, you know, that's how you can tell um, they're not, they're not spiritual. Because they can't see that, you know, all we have to do is just humble down right now. And then later on, we'll receive that glory. God, God. I mean, the scripture saying Hebrews 11 it isn't you let me just grab that real quick. Let me come back here. This is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. It says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So hey, you just have to be <coughs> have that good to have that good foot set in front of you. You know that single eye, looking, keeping that eye, your eye on the prize, to where you, you know, you know, we we get tempted. You know, we see things in the corner of our eye, but hey, we we still like I'm, I'm focused on that prize. You know, we'll get a little down, but what lifts us up? The brother, the brethren, the kingdom, the kingdom. You know, being able to get that, feel that rest. So right now is just the time of work. And work and work and work. And then that's what we're striving for is that rest. You know, not being able to get any diseases. You know, being able to drink real water. Drink real, real wine. 